<laughs> Sorry about all the gifts, guys. <laughs> Can you just talk about the, the preparation of, of not only getting a guy peak, but then peaking him again just a couple weeks later? How do you approach that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a unique process. It is one that we've been through a few times before. Um, sometimes these things happen. Our first concern was getting Ray healthy. You know, uh, towards the end of that Edmonton trip, he really was in bad shape. Um, so that first week back home in Albuquerque, we just let him rest, recover, uh, and, and get his immune system strong again. And then, yeah, then it was a gradual, okay, let's re you know, start this repeat process, uh, aiming for this Saturday. And I'm very happy with how it came out. And we added in uh, another coach, Jafari Varner, who's worked with a lot of top level guys in the UFC. He's cornered against Demetrius before himself. So uh, I like some of these adjustments we were able to make in uh, this last month. Your team was prepared against Demetrius in the past, as you said. I mean, are, 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 there, are there mistakes that were made in the past? And we look at him, and, and Ray said he sees weaknesses. Uh, maybe for the untrained eye, it's tough to find weaknesses in Demetrius' game. So, you know, the old the losses, I mean, were there mistakes made in execution or preparation? Yeah, you know, we've, we faced him twice with Dotson before, and Greg helped a little bit uh, with uh, Ali Baganatinov. Um, Demetrius is the GOAT right now. He's the pound-for-pound -pound king. Uh, any fight in the UFC is challenging, and uh, especially one against such a – decorated champion as Demetrius, but it's our job to find flaws and holes in these guys. And, uh, you know, we've trained a lot of high-level guys ourselves, and I know that every single one of these fighters has flaws. Um, no great champion stays undefeated, and uh, they, they all seem at their peak until they're dethroned. So, you know, it's our job to come up with this game plan and raise a very different fighter than uh, what we faced Demetrius with uh, prior to this. Ray has a lot of tools. He's a young guy. He's hungry, and uh, I'm excited to see him go out there and perform on Saturday. Last week for me, did you it's just a short window of time between the two preparations. Did you make any tweaks, or is this, or is this basically the same game plan yeah. that it was a few weeks back? Um, we definitely made tweaks. You know, I remember sitting in Edmonton Thursday night when Ray got pulled off the card uh, by the UFC uh, medical staff, and, you know, we were bummed, and it, we said, okay, what can we control right now? Let's reassess what we've done good this camp, and n now we've got another month, another window. What adjustments can we make? So, you know, we, we went back, and I think we've tuned some stuff up. We've improved on some stuff even further, and he's a young fighter. He's just continuing to grow, so... I'm excited. I mean, you mentioned John, and he's fought Demetrius for 50 minutes at this point. How has having him at the gym for all of his two camps now been, been helping? It's been incredible. John Dotson uh, has been like an extra coach himself. Um, but he's gone in there and pushed Ray in the hard rounds. Uh, Dotson's one of those guys I do think can uh, show speed similar to Demetrius's uh, with power behind it. Um, so it's been, it's been great having Dotson in the gym. He's taken Ray under his wing like a little brother, and he's given him a lot of insight on what he felt in those 50 minutes and, and how Demetrius has evolved since then. But Dawson has a big stake in watching our gym take home this belt as well. Do you, do you feel like Demetrius is the same fighter that more or less that he was when he fought John the second no. time? As opposed to now? No, I think, uh, I think Demetrius is always evolving. Uh, I think he's shown a lot of different uh, traits and characteristics and techniques in each one of his fights. Some have been you know, real power aggressive like Cejudo. Some have been very technical scrambles. Some have shown pure cardio. Uh, some have shown a lot of heart, so I think t there's a lot of different facets to Demetrius, but we just need to find the parts that Ray brings and, and, and find those openings. Ray said he's absolutely better than Demetrius in the scrambles. Do you, do you I believe that 100%. I see Ray go with top, top, top level UFC fighters on a, on a weekly basis, and I believe in this kid with all my heart. He scrambles like nobody I've ever seen before, and, and he's evolving in other areas besides that scramble, too. Is a month uh, enough time for him to recover from being sick? And I, mean, can he I, I believe so. Uh, you know, I think we were definitely on par to peak for 215. Um, I, you know, I think we're, we're in even better shape now. I think having that week to recover, he kept his weight down. He stayed lean. He stayed focused on, uh, on this goal. And we never got detoured from, from it. So I think it's been plenty of time. So you see him being in better shape? I would say Ray Borg is in better shape coming into 216 than what we were in 215. gets over that, you know, that, 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 that little hurdle that he'll really be good to go for Saturday? Do you think that I don't, um, I don't think the weight is, is the goal as much as it is just making that walk. You know, I think he f feels like he let fans down and the UFC down and, you know, himself and his family down. So I think uh, the weight isn't the issue. We're right on track. I'm very happy with where we're at right now. we got easy night's work ahead of us. Um, you know, I think getting out there and making that walk, that's, that's the big hurdle for him. But he's so game when it comes to fight night. He reminds me a lot of John Jones and his locker room preparation and his focus and uh, his self-conviction. So I think everything's coming together.
I'm just curious, you had a, uh, a new visitor this week. I saw a photo of you and Mr. Hendricks. The big rig, yeah. What's that been like? Oh, it's been a lot of fun, man. You know, and obviously Johnny and Cowboy just hit it right off. They're two peas in a pod, <laughs> so they start talking about dipping skull and Budweiser and Fram oil. And, uh, yeah, but we had a really good time training last night. Um, it, it was fun to hold pads for Johnny. Man, that left hand is no joke. Um, we, we, his dad's up here with him, and we, yeah, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, I think he's enjoying Albuquerque so far. Will he be there up until MSG? I think he's going to take a break and go back home, and then he'll come back out to Albuquerque for some final preparations. But How does Carlos feel about him being there? Uh, Carlos is focused on uh, on his own goals right now. You know, Carlos is getting back into the groove, and the gym's so big, and that, you know, there's always stories like this where guys have fought or guys have had, I wouldn't say they had bad blood, because I think they they're fight process was very cordial and respectful and even after the, the fight but they're in different weight classes and uh you know they're focused on different goals right now so you like that fight for Carlos and Magny? I do. You do I do um I think it's a it's a good fight back you know Magny's very tough he's coming off a loss um Magny has a lot of strong uh characteristics and traits and comes with a scrappy style himself that kind of reminds me of Carlos but I think it's a good uh fight back for Carlos how much concern as a coach do you have when guys kind of want to retire, they're thinking about it, they have like, you know, they're going and then all of a sudden they want to come back. Is there like a thought process or a conversation you have with them? Sure. How they feel? Yeah, and I think, you know, each uh, fighter's circumstances are different. Um, I think the time off was really good for Carlos. I, I think he's motivated, I think he's fired up, he's excited to be back in the gym. And he's, he's lining up other things in his life too. He has other goals, other hobbies. You know, he started a coffee company. Like, I, I, I think uh, the passion, other things outside of fighting help fuel the passion to come back for fighting that much more. How's the coffee? Absolutely fantastic. Nitro <laughs> brew. They have a Vietnamese nitro brew, brew too. It's good. Selecting like your first scrum. Uh, it's cool, man. I like all you guys. So it's, <laughs> I like talking about the gym. I like talking about the fighters. You know, it's fun. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.